If you like Tessa Thompson, you should definitely watch our picks for her best movies. It's a very powerful being at the center of the universe. It will grant the desire of the first person who reaches it. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. War on everyone. He's a Quaker. Does he have any gun statue anywhere? No, I told you he's a Quaker. He abhors violence. He what? You are? War on Everyone is a black comedy buddy cop film written and directed by John Michael McDonough and stars Alexander Skarsgård, Michael Peña, Tessa Thompson, and Theo James. Boasting dark humor and effective lead chemistry, War on Everyone sees two corrupt cops blackmailing criminals to fill their own pockets. With no moral compass or perception of right and wrong, they soon find themselves in the crosshairs of someone way more dangerous and influential than they could ever dream to be. What makes you so sure? ESP, darling. Let's just leave it at that. Number nine. I've been applying for something normal, you know, so I can stop all the ad jobs and whatnot. All legal, of course. Little Woods is a crime thriller film written and directed by Naya DaCosta and stars Tessa Thompson, Lily James, Luke Kirby, James Badge Dale, and Lance Reddick. Led by powerful standout performances, Little Woods sees two estranged sisters go to extremes when their mother dies. Left with a tremendous mortgage to pay within one week, they will do whatever is necessary. As they drag themselves deeper into chaos with each deacon, no chance remains except working together. How's the living situation? Not great. I guess it's a good thing that mom passed before we got evicted. Just have me to worry about now, so. Number eight. So you dislike Negroes, Mr. Bellew? No, 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 not at all. I hate them. Passing is a drama film written and directed by Rebecca Hall and stars Tessa Thompson, Ruth Negga, and Andre Holland. Questioning social norms and exploring racial issues in America, Passing is set in 1920s New York, where black woman Irene makes a confusing discovery. Upon meeting an old childhood friend, she is shocked to see that beautiful and black Claire is passing as white. As their two lives intertwine, it becomes harder and harder to say what culture really means. Have you ever known any Negroes? No, 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 no. But I do know people who know them. And I read about them in the papers, of course. Number seven. Bring the rainbow, is that a catchphrase or something? She's only been a Thor for a minute. I mean, saving lives she's quite good at, but the rest of it, she needs work. Thor, Love and Thunder is a superhero film directed by Taika Waititi and stars Chris Hemsworth, Christian Bale, Tessa Thompson, Russell Crowe, and Natalie Portman. The most powerful Avenger is back in his fourth adventure to save the universe. Recovering from his past traumas, Thor sets off with the Guardians of the Galaxy to reinvent himself and explore the unknown. However, when an enemy rises from the shadows, more powerful than anything he has faced before, it seems like his new strength might not be enough. But hang on, he moves through shadows and he's going to the Shadow Realm. It seems like that's where he's going to be the most powerful. You're right, we can't just go marching in there. It could be a trap. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I'm thinking it. What are we thinking? Thinking what? I'm thinking it too. Omnipotent city. Mm. Number six. Sylvie's love. Mistake or not, when a girl is kissed by a guy, she'd like to think that she's the only girl that guy's been kissing. Sylvie's Love is a romantic drama film written and directed by Eugene Ash and stars Tessa Thompson, Namdi Asamuga, Aja Naomi King, and Eva Longorio. This romance for the ages celebrates black love through the sweetest romance. When two ambitious yet struggling young souls meet by accident in 1950s New York, they fall into a passionate summer of love. But when time and dreams separate them, they find themselves strangers, only to discover that their feelings never died. So you carrying on with what's-her-face doesn't make me feel very special. Well, the only reason I was carrying on with her in the first place is because you telling me this was all a big mistake. That doesn't make me feel very special either. Number five. Ventress wants to face it. You want to fight it. But I don't think I want either of those things. Annihilation is a 2018 science fiction horror film written and directed by Alex Garland and starring Natalie Portman, Tessa Thompson, Oscar Isaac, and Jennifer Jason Leigh. 
Lena, a former soldier and a biologist on a mission to discover the mystery behind her husband's disappearance, embarks on a journey into an environmental disaster zone, but does not find what she wants. However, a team of biologists, an anthropologist, a psychiatrist, a cartographer, and a translator discovers a creature that endangers both their lives and their prudence. We should go back, yes, but it took us, what, six days to get here? And the coast is two days away. You're saying that we get out by going deeper in? Yeah, if you like, yeah. Number four. Sorry to bother you. Let's begin. Sorry to Bother You is a 2018 black comedy drama film written and directed by Boots Riley and stars Lakeith Stanfield, Tessa Thompson, Omari Hardwick, Army Hammer, and Terry Crews. This charming and intelligently written fight between lower class and upper class follows black telemarketer Cassius. When discovering a magical key to financial success, he goes down a spine of money-making and cocaine-snorting CEOs, a world that will ultimately clash with his girlfriend, who is part of a protest movement against corporate oppression. You're nothing but a misguided midget arsehole with dreams of ruling the world. Yeah, and also from Kew Gardens, and also getting by on my tits. Number three. Dee, do you know what you're doing right now? I mean, yeah, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Creed II is a sports drama film directed by Stephen Capel Jr. and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, Dolph Lundgren, and Florian Montanu. This powerful punch assembles a striking hit at fans' hearts in the best ways possible, not only being a remarkable sequel to its already classic predecessor, but a worthy sequel to the Rocky legacy. The legacies of a fateful 1985 boxing match come to a conclusion when Creed's son is challenged to fight the son of the man who once killed his father. Keep it real with you, B. You're the only person I want to share my moments with. So. Number two. You don't really seem like a boxer to me. I mean, you're, you're in shape and all, but I don't know, are most boxers like? Creed is a 2015 sports drama film directed by Ryan Coogler and stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone, Tessa Thompson, and Felicia Rashad. It is a spin-off and sequel in the Rocky film series and follows the life of Adonis Johnson, the son of boxing champion Apollo Creed. Adonis wasn't born until after his father's death and wants to follow in his footsteps in boxing. Therefore, he travels to Philadelphia to find his father's friend, Rocky Balboa, in order to recruit him as a trainer for a shot at the title. I'm just curious, like, what made you want to fight? My pop was a fighter. All oh, right, that makes sense. Did he fight pro? Something like that. Does he train you? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. No love, no relationships. They just distract you from what's important. Oh, really? And what's important? The truth of the universe. I want to know everything. I want to know how it all works. Anything you say goes. Good. Can we go now? No, you don't tell me when to go. I tell you when to go. That's the orders thing. You follow them. I have to give them first, okay? Okay, let's go. You don't understand. Girls like me... What? Have to pick a side? I'm sick of your tragic mulatto bullshit, Sam. You can't say mulatto. Mulatto, mulatto, mulatto! Did somebody say mulatto? Window. Go out the window. I'm sorry if I can't be your Nubian prince on my black horse, ready to take you back to fucking Zamunda. It's not a real African country. Number one. Thor Ragnarok. Look, I've spent years in a haze trying to forget my past. Mm. It's a car seemed like the best place to drink and forget and to die one day. Thor Ragnarok is a 2017 superhero film directed by Taika Waititi and stars Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, Kate Blanchett, Idris Elba, Tessa Thompson, and Anthony Hopkins. Defeated by Hela and imprisoned on the other side of the universe, Thor finds himself in a race against time to get back to Asgard to stop Ragnarok, the destruction of his homeworld, and the end of Asgardian civilization. But he is forced to fight to the death against the Grand Master's champion and is struggling with his own role in the universe. If I'm gonna die, well, it may as well be driving my sword through the heart of that murderous hag. Good. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm saying that I want to be on the team. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. 
If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.